back to my YouTube channel. Hey vlog. Okay, we have to be kind of quiet because it's like it's like 10 p.m. Okay, yeah, but for today's video, we're going to be pulling an all-nighter because I keep losing my train of thought. Because I can't. Billie Eilish is releasing her new album. And it's coming out in like, what, it's like less than two hours. But yeah, we've been planning to have the sleepover since like she started teasing the album, yeah. even before that. And we've been wanting to pull an all nighter for a while now as well. So we're like, you know what, we're just gonna do it tonight. So right now we are going to make a little ramen noodles for a snack and then do like a mini Q&A. So these are the noodles that we're making. Soon veggie up noodles, I love, that's how you don't know. <sighs> My speech is just like not working today. We take some boiling water. I drip boiling water on my toe. Oh my god. You drip some on my hand as well. So right now, you just take your chopsticks, put them on top to close the lid, and leave it for like, I think like five minutes or something. So yeah, we'll see you guys when it's done. We got our noodles, and while we eat our noodles, we're gonna answer some questions that you guys asked us on my community tab on Instagram. If you don't already follow us, both of us on Instagram, I'll put the link in the description. Okay, so the first question is actually from you, and it's, how do we want to change this year? And what exactly did you mean by that? <laughs> what What do you want to work by the end of the year? I obviously really want to work on my mental health. For me, what I want to work on is like my motivation. I want to be more mm. motivated to do everything. Okay, but <laughs> I'm not trying to lick you, but I don't think you should always rely on motivation because motivation is not like a 24-7 thing. Yeah, I know. Obviously, you need to work on your motivation, but it's not like something you can constantly rely on. Like sometimes you need to rely on <laughs> rely on like self-discipline and just be like you know get up you know do it imagine how happy your future self is going to be that you got it done if you don't want to do it now it doesn't mean that your future self is going to want to do it so you need to get done now okay next question favorite thing about each other none oh. <laughs> how you're so like reassuring and you see like the positive out of most things oh at least you try to. I would say like you're a very genuine person. The first time I met you in person, it was just like you were just like very I can't even explain, just very genuine. Like your sense of humor is really you. It's not it's not something you picked up from someone and tried to be like them. It's something you thought was funny, so you picked it up. And I don't know, you just seem like a very loving and caring and genuine person. This has got like a peppery taste, so mm -hmm. it's really good. Oh, this is a good question. Who do you think is going to be your top five artist of the year? I feel like definitely Nirvana is gonna be at least like number one or two because i started getting into their music at like the beginning of the year they've been like one of my top three artists every single week since then i feel like i feel like i'm going to rodrigo as well definitely and then depending on how much i like billy's new album billy i feel like she's definitely gonna be up there somewhere and number one is rain sounds because i listen to that every night before i go to bed <laughs> no but like the way i was teasing him about like the way he got the number one listener and then i started doing it because i've been trolling with sweet lately and then i started getting like number one listeners if that wasn't my involved okay the main artists are um belly eilish tuffaroon and Holly xx right now okay next question what do you think slash do you think is going to be your fave song on Billy's new album definitely skinny or lunch mm. i have a Skinny, it just looks appealing like it definitely got a place in my heart already. For me, I don't really know yet. Lunch has been stuck in my head since she like posted that teaser. And then, ch ch how do you say it? Chihiro. Chihiro. I don't know if that's how you say it, but that song also sounds really good. And then, I'm not sure what the song name is. I'll put like whatever the song name is on the screen but it like kind of gives nda vibe but like also not really but nda is one of my like favorite it's my favorite buddy i song next question how did you guys become friends and then also go all your videos to my therapy thank you so much that is the best compliment ever how did we meet let me let me just sum it all up one of my friends from school can i mention her in this video will she be fine okay so basically i spoke to her okay guys i haven't told you this yet <laughs> I, at the time, was looking for a girlfriend. A, a girlfriend? That listened to Billie Eilish. A girlfriend, like a dating girlfriend? Yes. Was this at the, like, the Delulu 
Yes, let's not talk about it right now. Okay. And then she like showed me a photo of Maya and was like, oh my gosh, she's so pretty. She gave me Maya's number and I can't remember how you on your end how it happened. For me, he damned me on Instagram, reacted like on a picture I was wearing a buddy nice t-shirt and said like nice t-shirt. Then I asked for his number from Lena because she'd like spoken about him in the past and stuff. She told me that he listened to the others, but I was like always too shy to say something. Then I finally asked for his number. We started talking, but that was on the same day that my mom and I changed phones, so I lost like all of my contacts and I don't want to seem like super desperate and ask for his number again so I just like kind of left it and then I think in November you texted me again and said like so I heard you like Billie Eilish and then from there on out it's it's history. <laughs> okay, but we're gonna finish a little bit of noodles and stuff we have left and we'll see you guys afterwards. So it is currently 11.56 and basically after we finished having the noodles, we just came like back to my room and we've been sitting here making like beaded braces and stuff. Oliver is making like, that's what, wait, quickly show them. That's how it looks. And then I'm making this one that's like a number four because it's my favorite number. But yeah, the album comes out in exactly four minutes. I can't, I'm so excited. Five, four, three, two, one. It's out, it's out, it's out, it's out. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm like so happy, what the heck? It's so sad, what the heck? New favorite album, I'm pulling it. I already know I'm gonna have nights crying my eyes out for this one. That was just fun. The transition. Oh, she's something weird. Whoa. It's so good, I can't. Thoughts, Oliver? 100% my favorite. It's Oliver. like my jaw has been on the floor so many times already, and we're only on the fourth song. But it's completely different every single time. It's like exceeds your expectations in a completely different way every single time. If I wish you the best for the rest of your life, Ooh. felt sorry. What? For it's giving like AIDS, kind of. Yeah. like we're in one of those like ghost hunting videos it is 109 a.m we finished listening to billy's album probably like 10 minutes ago maybe 30 because it took her about 30 minutes to put makeup on it did not that album has permanently like emotionally damaged and altered me but it was really good though i love it but yeah and then afterwards i just quickly like did my skincare we did my makeup just to kind of freshen up a bit and now we are literally outside you can see nothing we're just gonna like walk around outside a bit listen to more of the album Okay, so it is currently 1.43. I'm it's starting to get me. I'm not even that tired. It's more just like the unmotivation and the like just wanting to lie down and do nothing that's like getting to me. It's not even like being tired. Does that make sense? No, you're speaking French right now. What? French? I'm in Parmesan. Oh. Okay, but we're making some iced coffee because we want to like wake up. Yeah, we're, this is my reset of my sleep schedule actually. Yeah, that's also kind of why I was doing it. Girl, how did you do that twice? Can you get the straws, please? Mom and Dad, if you're watching this, we're sorry. I don't think we should get ice because like it's gonna make. It's the same thing, it's still iced coffee, it's just like nice and down. Do you want to wait for your parents? Like, you just, we already have like, that was the lost straw right there. The lost straw? <laughs> I can't, it's too late for this. Right now we're gonna play the horror game Eyes because me and I played it like back in August of 2023. And it's a fairly good horror game considering like it's free, so. Okay, all of this playing, what do you call this? No, 
Sarah, but what do you actually call it? Um, it's called Council Stage. But yeah, we were playing the horror game for like, I swear yes. not even like 10 minutes. We just like kind of got bored quickly because we are both like so tired. But yeah, we're just lying here chilling, holding on for dear life. Okay, anyway, Ooh. so it is currently 2.47 and I feel like after that, like, it wasn't even like a nap session, just like closing my eyes and like drifting off and then Oliver waking me up again. <laughs> I'm like really energized now. I don't know if it's the coffee kicking in, but like, I'm like awake. But yeah, right now we're gonna watch Breaking Dawn part one and part two because Oliver's watched the first three movies, but not the Breaking Dawn. So we're gonna watch that and by the time we're done, the sun's gonna start coming up, I think. So we're so close to being finished. Like, we can't possibly- Are these the last two movies of all factor? Yeah, it's like kind of depressing. Well, so, little haul. Nux is like very comfy here on the couch. I love him so much. So, we have Haribo. Haribo. <laughs> Haribo gold bears. These like gummy bears. And then we have Flanagan's. Okay, but yeah, we're going to chill here on the couch. We literally bought like my duvet because it's so freaking cold. Like, it's. 13 degrees. That's what? So yeah, it's really cold. So we're here. I brought my duvet. We have the dogs. We have some snacks. And we are going to watch the Twilight movies. So dramatic. Okay, good morning, guys. What's the time? It is 10.46. As you can probably tell, we kind of failed all night. Uh. We actually didn't. We stayed up till five o'clock in the morning. You stayed up until like four. No. Anyway, so he fell asleep like <clears throat> halfway through Breaking Dawn Part One. I like fell asleep for like twenty minutes or something during the second movie, and then I made the mistake of going back to my room, and I was just gonna chill there until Oliver woke up, but then I fell asleep, and then I got up again, went upstairs, watched Brooklyn Nine Nine, and fell asleep again. So kind of a fail, but like at the same time, I stayed up until sunrise, so I feel like I don't know. It depends what you think an all night is, but anyway, he woke up probably at like nine or something, and then I woke up like a half an hour later, and we were just making like breakfast and stuff. Just like bacon, eggs, and I wish there was a hot topic in South Africa. Okay, bye. Okay, hey guys. So it's a couple of hours later, and basically I was supposed to film an outro like right when Oliver and I finished getting ready, but like we were kind of in a rush, so I forgot. But yeah, I think he left for like five minutes ago or something. I'm like, guys, I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm like in my bed right now. I think I'm gonna take a nap, <laughs> and I'm really excited tonight to just like shower, clean my room, and then sleep. <laughs> But I think this is where I'm going to end today's video. I'm not even gonna lie, this all-nighter was genuinely so much more difficult than I thought it was gonna be because this is actually my first all-nighter. Well, at least my first, like, planned all-nighter. So yeah, this was really interesting. If I were to ever do it again, I just want to plan it out a little bit better and plan out, like, more stuff to do. And also, I'd obviously want to try and stay awake next time. <laughs> but if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on my post notifications so you'll be notified every single time that I upload. Comment the blue heart emoji in honor of Billy's new album. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.